Hi, it's Alaska Granny. As preppers, we can prevent hardships by having a well-stocked pantry. What are some categories of foods that you should have in your prepper pantry to help you be able to prepare easy meals and keep your family fed no matter what the day brings? Start with dried foods. Start with all different kinds of pastas. Get some packaged things like pasta salads, pasta mixes. There are many different varieties, hamburger helper, instant things, all kinds of different foods that you could put together to make a meal. So a lot of them will last for a very long time, especially if you store them in an airtight container in a cool, dry, dark place. I like to take pastas and I put them in the freezer for a day or two to make sure that there are no wheat weevils in them. Wheat itself already has some little bugs that are already living inside of the kernels and so you want to prevent those from hatching later on by freezing them for a few days. Then thaw them out completely so that you don't get any condensation and you can do simple things such as store them in a clean canning jar. You can store them in a food saver container. You can store them in mylar bags with oxygen absorbers in five gallon buckets. But I like to store my food in containers that easily fit in my pantry, they're easily accessible, and then they're on hand to make meals. So smaller containers work better for my family, but you need to decide what is the easiest format for you to store food and how it's gonna be most applicable to your lifestyle. Store foods according to what you choose to eat, the flavors that you enjoy, and the foods that you know how to cook. You can find regular pastas, you can find pastas made from chickpeas. One of the categories to be careful of though is egg noodles because they have eggs in them so they aren't going to be as long lasting as just plain pastas. But you can still have them in your food storage but you need to rotate them within maybe two to three years whereas Plain old pastas, macaronis, and noodles will last for nearly forever. I've never had pasta that I stored in an airtight container ever become unfit to eat. It was always perfectly fine, just as fresh as the day I bought it, as long as you store it airtight in a cool, dry, dark place. Next, look for rice. You can get plain rice, store that also in an airtight container, and you can also buy rice mixes. I like to take mixes like pasta salads, rice aroni, different things like that, and I open them up and I put them into a Ziploc bag and I store them inside a canning jar or another container. I have put them in like Tupperware containers, but as the years have progressed, I've been using canning jars or five gallon buckets with airtight lids. I found that those just lasted a little bit better. The better that you store your food, the longer it's going to last. I've had the mixes stored like this in airtight containers and they've lasted for seven, eight, nine years so far and they've still been good. The thing about uh, storing mixes and things like that, the basic pastas and rices are probably going to be fine far longer than the little packets of spice mixes. The spices have mixed different other kind of ingredients and some of those will go rancid. You can throw away the little spice packet if it doesn't smell right and you can probably still use the pasta or the rice, the noodles, whatever else was in that container. The next prepper pantry food basic so that you can make meals out of your pantry and prevent hardships are tomato products. You can take a simple can of tomatoes and you can spice it up all different ways to make the flavors suit what you choose to eat. These go great with all kinds of pastas. They go great with rice. You can add them to all different kinds of ingredients to make bigger, better meals. You can buy everything from tomato paste to enchilada sauces. You can find diced tomatoes. You can even find them flavored like with basil and oregano and garlic. You can find fire roasted tomatoes. You can find different varieties that help make your food categories have different flavors. Choose some that you want to make into chili. Have some that you want to make into enchiladas. Have something to make into pasta sauces. And I love to stock up on jars of pasta sauces. 
There's so many different varieties. I prefer them in a jar over a can. I just think that they're a better quality, they have a better flavor. And of course, there's always going to be your family favorites. Sometimes I find them on sale and I buy some that aren't necessarily my favorite because I need to make sure that I have enough food in my stockpile. My favorite are usually the Classico. I like them because I think they're delicious. I also like that the jars are canning size jars. So a lot of times with the pasta sauces, you can't get the flavor out of the lids when you want to reuse them, but with the Classico, a regular canning jar lid and ring can fit on here so you can use them easily to store dried food again. I don't use the recycled jars for new canning. I use canning jars that I buy purposefully for that, but I use these all the time to store dry ingredients and it works great. Other jars are just fine too, but the challenge is getting the flavor, the scent, the aroma out of the lid of flavorful foods. So when you're shopping, look for a variety. Find different flavors because every single day, if you ate the same pasta over and over again, yes, you'd have something to eat if it was hard times and you had nothing else, but if you had a different flavor every day, it isn't quite so boring. You can avoid food fatigue. Do we want to eat pasta every single day? Probably not. But if just from these foods, you could make a huge variety of meals, that could keep your family going. If you see a type of sauce or a food that you think you might like, buy one, take it home and try it. If you like it, you can always go back and get more. Don't stock up on foods you're not familiar with simply because it's on sale. If you find you don't like it and you bought a lot of them, you've wasted your food storage dollars and you've also wasted your prepping space where you need to store foods that you choose to eat. The next category of food to help you have a well-stocked pantry are things like broths, bouillon, cream of something soups. Choose uh, sauces that are already prepared in a can, like manwich sauce or a jar of pizza sauce. You can find salsas. You can find everything from mango salsa, green salsa, red spicy salsa, and you can even look at a variety of salad dressings and marinades like a raspberry vinaigrette or even a simple Italian dressing. All of these foods are inexpensive ways to add variety, flavor, and keep your pantry full, keep your family fed. When you're stocking up on broths and stocks, look for vegetable broth, look for cream of celery soup, look for varieties that help you add different flavors, some vegetables into your meals, and then if salt is a concern, look for low sodium options. Those are always available. Always be reading the nutritional guidelines and the ingredients so that if you have food allergies or foods you care to eat or not eat, that you're aware of what you're bringing home for your prepper pantry. Then you also want to have an idea how you're going to use these foods. Don't just buy random foods that you don't know what you would do with them. You need to have an idea. I could use the vegetable broth to make a nice big pot of soup. I could use the cream of something to make a casserole. I could use the salsa to go with some beans and rice and make it spicy and yummy. Every prepper pantry needs some dried beans, but you also need beans that you can eat for dinner tonight if you need to. A lot of the dried beans and rice that people put away in buckets that are 50 pounds sealed to last for 30 years, that's not something on a day-to-day -day basis that you want to go to to try to figure out how to feed my family tonight or this weekend. But you can do that simply with a variety of canned foods. You can buy the lentils and split peas in dried format they're a great way to add to your variety of your beans that some people don't think about, but you can also find split pea soup, lentil soup. Heat these up, serve them over your rice, add them to some pasta, and you have a nutritional way to get protein, flavors, variety, and meals into your family when you need to. You can buy all different kinds of beans. Choose a wide variety from three beans, pinto beans, white beans, navy beans, 
black beans. Look at all the different varieties. Find ones that you like. Don't just buy one kind. Look for recipes even that include different varieties of beans so that you can continue to add variety and flavor into your meals. Then look for things like easy prepared beans, like refried beans, baked beans, and even chili with beans in them. All of these varieties are great to expand on the meals with the pasta, the rice, the sauces, the soups, and the stocks that you have so that you can continue to make fuller, bigger, better meals. And guess what? All of these foods are inexpensive. You can pick one up to use this week, pick up another one, and put it away in your food storage. So as you find a recipe that you use the foods in your food stockpile, then you want to replace those foods and add two, add three, add four, so that you have another meal, another day, until you have quite a supply of food that you know how to use the foods that you have in your stockpile, and you can continue to make regular meals for your family. Find a way to incorporate fruits and vegetables into your meals. Do you grow a garden? Do you go to farmer's market? Are there favorites that you pick up at the grocery store? Look for them in canned and frozen, even dehydrated, freeze-dried format so that you have them in your food stockpile. The one challenge I've had with canned fruits is they just don't last like these other foods. I've been trying to find ways to include more fruits in my food stockpile without having the cans that spoil, leak, bulge, and are no longer good to eat. So fruits and vegetables are something you need to make sure that you're incorporating, but they don't last as long as these other foods. So you need to make sure that you're keeping that stockpile rotated and that you're still going to have a variety of them to go with your regular meals. Next, your well-stocked pantry needs some canned meats. Canned meats are great because they can live on your shelf long past the best by use by sell by date. You can count on those lasting, unlike things like cans of fruit, which just don't last. But the canned meats can go long term. Does that mean you should count on them lasting past the sell by date? You want to try to rotate your foods within the guidelines of that date. Never throw food out simply because you think it's expired just because of the date on the package. When you have a can of food that's past the sell by, best by, use by date, look it over. Does it have anything that looks leaking, bulging, weird? Then go ahead and open it. If it spurts, throw it away immediately. Now look it over. Does it look fine? Does it smell okay? You can take a little taste and decide for yourself. Does it seem like it's still okay? Then it's probably fine to eat. I've done that many times. Anytime a food gives any kind of suspicion to me, I throw it away immediately. But I've been able to use almost all of the foods that I've had past the best by sell by use by date, and nearly all of them have been okay. But not always. That's why you want to look carefully. And if you're ever in doubt, throw it out. Maybe you like to eat tuna. Maybe you like canned chicken, you can find canned roast beef, you can find cans of pulled pork, you can find Spam and even lunch and loaf that many people think is just as good as Spam for a lot less money. You need to decide what are the meats that you like. There's other kinds of fish besides tuna. You can get salmon, oysters, kipper snacks, sardines. Choose the foods that you like. If you like ham, stockpile that. If you like chicken, have that on hand. If you don't like tuna, don't buy it. All of these meals are for your taste. There is no one right way to stock your prepper pantry. The only right way is what meets your food choices, your budget, your taste, the meals that you know how to cook and your family is willing to eat. That's how you make your prepper pantry really be successful if the foods in it provide and nourish your family and meet your needs. Everyone is different. Choose the foods that work best for you. Prevent hardships for your family by having a well-stocked pantry. Look through the categories of foods. Make sure that you're getting a variety. If you continue to rotate your foods, replace them, grow your prepper pantry, then you're going to have a far better outcome in times of emergency going forward. You'll always have enough to feed your family. 
If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.